everyone, my name is Amber Wade and I'm a BFA candidate at Winthrop University. I concentrate in painting. Today I just want to talk to you guys about my senior thesis work titled Superseded. Through the use of drawing, painting, and sculpture, I created an interactive installation for my senior thesis. For my work in Superseded, I drew inspiration from the experience of watching trees be cut down and replaced with buildings. My interest was in the process of passing by these trees so many times and then watching as the space of woods on the side of the road became less and less familiar as people interacted with it. Specifically, I was focused on how an isolated space becomes populated when buildings are placed inside of it. Within my work, I drew from this experience focusing on textures and the overall process of watching one thing being changed into another. For this mirrored piece, outside the gallery, I was informed by the texture and rhythm of trees when you pass by them on the road. With this painting, I chose to draw out these trees onto my material, and then I carved into the plastic mirror sheet in order to create this engraving of them. I chose to do this instead of just painting it on because I felt that it created this longevity, and it made them feel more permanent, which really contrasted with the work inside of the gallery that I was creating that really represented the temporary aspect of these trees. For these next two works, I chose for both of them to be the same color and I also wanted them to have similar designs and markings to create this kind of harmony and balance in the space that I feel relates to the balance in spaces like woods before people come in and take down the trees that are inside of them. On the wall, there is a long wave-like painting. For this piece, I was inspired by the way that these trees blend together when you drive by them. On the side of the road, I just feel like they merge together and some trees project forward since they are closer to you and closer to your window, while other trees are farther away and they tend to recede into the background. For the shaping of this piece, I was really informed by these aspects of the space. When I was manipulating my material, I just really was focused on having parts of the piece project outwards and having parts of the piece kind of fall backwards into the background a little bit. And I was also thinking about how the piece would look in different directions depending on where you're standing at. I was interested in um, how it can look large and chunky if you're looking at it from the front view, but if you turn to the side you can see how skinny the material is and it just changes the way the piece looks. While making this work I also considered the height of these trees along with how continuous they feel when you pass by them and I let that really influence how tall I decided to make the overall work and also how long. I wanted it to be. For both works, I feel like my focus was on the texture instead of color. I mean, I enjoy the vibrant green of trees and I enjoy the many colors that fill areas like woods and forest, but I was more interested in overall textures of them. I also was really focused on scratching into the paint and finding ways to blend the paint so that it would overlap in a similar way to how leaves and tree branches tend to overlap on each other. For the work on the window, I painted a similar design to the wave shape that I just discussed. Like I said, I used the same techniques and same um, process, but I decided to make this piece on a different material. I used this clear stickery vellum so that the piece could be removable. And I did a large scale version of the painting and then I cut it up into over 400 squares and rearrange the squares. I really kind of worked randomly with what went where, um, kind of leaving some of the pieces to connect and be beside each other that were originally beside each other in the full painting. But I took these squares and decided to lay them on the window so that they could be interacted with. So with the piece, parts of the painting, um, as I said, are removable and the idea is that viewers can take them off and toss them on the floor carelessly and they are able to kind of re slowly reveal what's underneath the painting. By interacting with my work, I feel that the viewer is destroying a part of my painting, and they're really destroying a part of the space that I've created. Um, once all the little paint squares are taken off of the window, I feel like the space is permanently changed. The stickers, um, they stay sticky for a little while, so they could go back on the window, but they will eventually fall off, and the idea is that the piece will never be the same once it's interacted with and I feel like that relates to spaces in nature. 
once we cut down all these trees and we put buildings in certain places, um, the spaces never really get the same after that, I believe. With the destruction of the work, a black and white building shaped painting is revealed. For this painting, I ended up deciding to create a representation of the buildings that take the place of these trees in the real world. I made my piece very simplistic and I focused on creating neat and precise lines and I wanted the piece to feel very flat compared to the colorful paintings that surround the building. I felt like the rest of the work that I had ended up creating with all these bright reds and yellows, I felt like they felt more complex and I wanted this piece to feel a little bit more simplistic and just feel very, really less, a little bit less interesting than the other work in design and coloring. For certain areas, I decided to cut holes that represent windows and doors and this was done so that viewers would be able to see people through the tiny little holes and also they'd be able to see people passing by through the actual window that the piece is hanging on. Inside of the gallery, also, um, there's this element of people because I decided to leave part of the painting mirrored. So half of the, most of the painting is black and white and then one side of the piece has a little bit of a mirror on it so viewers can see themselves in the work and also be able to see people behind them moving throughout the gallery inside of the piece. And I felt that by using these mirrors and having the work on a window, there's really so much movement that is captured. The piece is changing constantly from being interacted with and also its surroundings are changing as people are passing by it and I just really liked that um, when I'm viewing the actual trees in nature when you're in your car and driving by them there's this movement that is constantly happening happening and then um, in the piece I've managed to really have this nice element of movement with people passing by the work also my decision to leave part of the painting mirrored was because I really wanted to bring in the visual of people into the space. I feel like human beings play a huge role in this whole process since we are the ones cutting down these trees. And uh, it felt right to have this whole element of the viewer being able to be seen in the work. For the installation of all three paintings, I wanted to create a space that at first felt very isolated and then through being interacted with, I wanted this, the space to change from being peaceful and being, being very cohesive to just feeling very, very different from its beginning state. My goal for this work was for viewers to grasp this idea of change. And as I said, I really want people to think about and compare the visuals of the work before interaction and how the piece looks after it's been interacted with. Another thing that I'm hoping that viewers consider is the way the piece looked before the squares were taken down. I know every viewer won't necessarily be able to see the all the different stages of the piece. Some people may only see the piece one time and that might be once all the squares have been removed while other people might have the opportunity to see all three stages to see the in process of the work as it's being interacted with and also see the beginning and the end. And I feel like it's just interesting to consider what all you are able to see. Because I feel like we don't sometimes think about these places, um, these buildings that we go to. You don't really consider how they might have looked before the building was there. And I think that's something to consider. And I hope that viewers consider how my piece looked before all the squares were taken down. Especially if they didn't get the experience of seeing all of its stages of the space. But overall, I really felt like this work was a way for me to visually translate this experience and process, and I definitely plan to continue exploring these ideas in future work. To wrap up, I just want to say a quick thank you for everyone who took the time to listen to me discuss the work, and I hope you all get a chance to see the work in the gallery. Thank you.